Hello Year 5 and let's have a look at our maths lesson. Um, today is the last time this week that we are going to be looking at using the column method of multiplication. We will come back to it when we are in school, but if there's anyone who has felt like they don't quite understand it or they need a bit more support with it, please do let me know. I put an extra video up on Wednesday that will hopefully help those of you that were a bit confused, but I'm more than happy to do the same thing again if people need a bit more help. And I can also send over just some arithmetic questions for it for you to practice with um, if you think that that would benefit you. Um, so let's have a look at the lesson that we are doing today. So um, here are some examples of Dexter's maths work. He's made a mistake in each question. Can you have a go at solving um, working out what mistake he's made and working out what the answer should be. So pause the, um, the question here, have a go at solving those problems. Can you be the teacher here with Dexter's work? Okay, so let's have a look through and see. So for the first question, um, we can see that he's forgotten to put that zero placeholder in. He's done seven times seven as 49, not seven times seven tens as 49 tens. So if we look over on the right hand side, we can see that if we've got that zero in place, then our answer ends up being 75,012, which is quite a long way from 12,831, which is the answer Dexter got. For the second one, we can see that he's forgotten to add in the exchanged thousands and ten thousands, which means that he's missed a whole 22,000 off his answer. So on the right hand side, you've got the example of what it should look like. Hopefully you managed to spot both of those um, errors and you were able to correct them and have a go at being the teacher. So we're carrying on with using the column method today. We've been using it for multiplying two digits by, by yeah, two digits by two digits, three digits by two digits. And today, hopefully you would have guessed that we're going to have a go at doing four digits by two digits. It's exactly the same principle. We just have to add that extra step to make sure that we're multiplying the thousands as well. So Let's remind ourselves, uh, multiplying means to add equal groups. Um, and synonyms of multiply can be lots of, repeated addition, the product of, groups of, timesing, or multiples. Um, so we're going to look at our example question of 7,816 multiplied by 42. There's lots of different ways that that could be said. You might see that as 42 lots of 7,816, the product of 7,816 and 42, the 42nd multiple of 7,816, 42 groups of 7,816, 42 times 7,816, or 7,816 multiplied by 42. And because multiplication is commutative, you might see it either way around. So you might see 7,816 groups of 42 instead. So um, I've laid it out using the traditional column method style. I've left myself two rows worth of room because I'm multiplying by a two digit number. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to partition that bottom number. I can partition 42 into four tens and two ones, which means that my sum, this top row is going to be the same as 7,816 times two, and the bottom row is going to be the same as 7,816 times 40. So let's work through it nice and methodically. If um, Keep coming back to these slides as well, because if you're trying to work out the answers to your questions, it might be useful to follow along and see what I'm doing. So so the product of six and two is 12. I can't fit 12 into one column. So I'm going to have to put the two in there and I'm going to carry the 10 ones and make it into one 10. Um, so next, one multiplied by two is two. Add the extra one that's been exchanged gives me three. So three needs to go in there. Eight, the product of eight and two is 16. 16 doesn't fit in the hundreds column. So I'm going to have to put six in the hundreds column and exchange uh, the 10 hundreds for 1,000. And finally, the product of seven and two is 14, add the exchange one is 15. Because we don't have any 10,000s, I can just put 15 straight away in. I don't need to worry about making it, um, adding it at the top instead. Now I know that for my next row, I'm going to be multiplying everything by 40, but to save myself a bit of a job, I can put that zero in there straight away. So that's what I'll do. And now I can just focus on multiplying the single digits together. So six lots of four, why has that happened? Uh, six lots of four is 24. I can't fit 24 in the tens column. So four goes in the tens column and two gets exchanged into the hundreds. Um, one, the first multiple of four is four, of course. Add the exchange, two gives me six. Eight multiplied by four is 32. Um, I can't fit 32 into the thousands column. So the two goes in there, three gets exchanged. 
7 multiplied by 4 is 28. Add the extra 3 gives me 31. So there is my two parts of my answer. All I need to do now is add them together. 2 add 0 is 2. 6 add 4 is 10, so I exchange a 1. 6 add 3 add 1 is 10, so I exchange a 1. 5 add 2 add 1 is 8. 1 add 1 is 2, and 3 is by itself over there. So we're left with 328,002, which is quite an unusual looking number. So um, you can also have a go at that using the grid method. But what I'd like most of you to do is I'd like most of you to move away from using the grid method now, because you can see the, the larger the numbers that we are multiplying, the more cumbersome the grid method becomes, because then you're dealing with eight numbers and it's much easier to make a mistake when you're trying to add eight numbers together. Um, so I'd like you to have a go at this one by yourselves. And then once you've done it, follow along with the video to see if you've got it the same way as I've got it and to follow along. And this way you'll be able to see if you make any mistakes, hopefully you'll be able to identify the stage at which you made it. So have a go at that by yourself. Um, and then when you're ready, press play and we'll go through it together. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna lay out in the column method and I'm going to partition my bottom number, my two digit number. So 71 is the same as seven tens and one one. Now what that does as well is that makes that top sum quite easy because I know 3,716 times one is just going to be the same. One lot of 3,716 is 3,716. But I'll go through it um, stage by stage so that we can really see that. So the product of six and one is six. So that just goes in there. The product one multiplied by one is one. So that goes in there. The product of seven and one is seven, so that goes in there. And the product of three and one is three, so that goes in there. Now, for my second row, I'm multiplying by a multiple of 10. So I'm going to put that place value, um, so place hold a zero into the ones column. And now I just need to worry about doing six times seven this time instead of six times 70. So six dots of seven is 42. I can't fit 42 in the tens column, so I'll put the two there and I'll exchange the four. Uh, the first multiple of seven is seven. Um, I have the exchange four gives me 11. I can't fit 11 in the hundred. So I'll put the one in there and I'll exchange the one. Um, seven multiplied by seven is 49. Add the other one is 50. And finally, three multiplied by seven is 21. Add the exchange five is 26. Uh, then all I've got to do is add those numbers together. Six and zero is six. One and two is three. Seven and one is eight. Three and zero is three. And then we've got our six and our two are standalone, which gives me my answer of 263,836. Um, that's the last bit of, multi of column method that we're going to be doing in this batch of work. The reason that we haven't gone on to doing five digits and six digits is because it's the same principle. Um, it might be that you guys will have a look at multiplying by three digit numbers, but again, it's very similar. Once you've got the pattern, you should be able to work out for the rest of it what you need to do. But I don't believe that we do multiplying by three digit numbers um, in year five. So now it's your turn. Try as much as you can to use the column method. I don't mind you using the grid method to check your working. Um, and also, if you're not sure, please do email me because I know that sometimes seeing me actually writing it is easier than seeing me try and show it on the board like this. So there's no expectation for you to do all of the questions. There are six arithmetic questions, there are six word problem questions, and there's a challenge. I would recommend you either choose the arithmetic problems or the word problems. And then if you're feeling confident, then you can have a go at the challenge as well. So here are your six arithmetic problems. Pause the screen if you want to work through these and then we keep watching to find the answers. Here are your first three word problems. And here are your next three word problems. And here is your challenge. Let me move my face out of the way so that you can see it. Okay, so let's have a look at some of the answers. So here are your answers for your arithmetic problems. If you didn't get those answers and you can't quite see why, please do email me because I've tried to, wherever possible, send a step-by-step -step guide to how you can get those answers. It's not always the easiest over email, um, but I've had a go. Um, here are the answers for your first three word problems. Here are the answers and the sums for your second three word problems. And here is your answer for your um, challenge problem. 
As always, guys, send over your work. Uh, let me know how you found it and let me know if you think that you might need either a bit more practice on it because I can send you over something or if you would like to see me go through the method in a different way, I can send you links to other videos to help or I can try and send you something of me working in a slightly different way for it.